Hello everyone. My name is Sekar Palupi Adrening Room. I am class 4B. I my school is in SD Muhammadiyah Pakem. Now I want I want you to hear my story. This this is about Little Red Little Red Riding Hood. I hope you enjoy. Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful girl who lived in the village near the forest with her mother. One day, her grandmother gave her a very nice red riding cloak. That is why everybody in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, did you call me, mother? Yes, Little Red Riding Hood, your grandmother is very sick today. Now, I want you to go to her house and take this little basket with some bread and honey. Yes, Mother. But don't stop in the forest and don't talk to strangers. Do as I say. Now, get soon to your grandmother's house. Yes, Mother. Little Red Riding Hood walked through the forest, and then, meanwhile, she, when she walked through the forest, she saw she saw many beautiful flowers in the forest. Oh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful flowers! I will take some for my grandmother. She left a little basket in the ground to take this. To take this little this flower in the forest. When suddenly, good morning, little red riding hood. Ha 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 ha. Good morning, Mr. Wolf. Where are you going so early? I'm going to my grandmother's house to take this little basket with some bread and honey. Ha 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 ha! And does your grandmother live from from here? No, Mr. Wolf. She just lives across your street. Um, street behind those trees. Um, oh, with the white door. Good boy, little Red Riding Hood. And look, do you see that road? Hmm? Yes, I do. Just follow that road and you will get soon to your grandmother's house. Yes, I will. Thank you so much, Mr. Wolf. You're welcome. Goodbye, Little Red Riding Hood. Ha 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 ha. Little Red Riding Hood, keep looking for flowers, disobeying her mother to not stop in the forest. Meanwhile, the wolf ran super fast to her grandmother's room and then he knocked at the door. Who's there? Grandmother, it's me, your granddaughter. I came to bring you this little basket with some bread and honey. Oh, come in, my little daughter. Push the door. As soon the wolf entered, he ate her grandmother. And then he put a nightclub. Then later, little red dragon hood reached, reached to her house, to her grandmother's house, with some basket with some full bread and honey. And then she knocked at the door. Who's there? Grandmother, it's me, your granddaughter. I came to bring you this little ba basket with some bread and honey. Oh, come in my little daughter, push the door. I soon the little red riding hood. Come in the, in the, in her grandmother's room. She sit in the chair and said this. Oh, grandmother, what a big eyes you have. It's all too better to, to see you with. Oh, what a big ears you have, grandmother. It's all too better to, to hear you with. 
grandmother, what a big nose you have. It's all better to smell you with, darling. Oh, grandmother, and why you have those big teeth and big mouth? It's all too better to eat you with, ha 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 ha. And then she screamed pretty loud, and then the wolf ate the little red riding hood, and then he fell asleep. Meanwhile, the woodsman was chopping at the tree. When he finished, she, she was passing by the little house, and then he looked away to the house. Hmm, why is this door open? Let me check inside. Hmm, huh? Oh my gosh, there's a wolf in the bed, and he's sleeping. And why is he so fat? I hope I am on time. And then he brought the wolf outside and made him spill out the poor little grandmother and little red riding hood still in one piece. Oh, thank you, God, Bootsman. This will be a lesson for you, little red riding hood. Do not disobey your mother again. The end.